Okay, so welcome everybody to this week's Forex Outlook with Great White, sponsored by Trading Pro for the 29th to 3rd of 29th of April to 3rd of May 2024. So, as always. Let's get down to what we have for this week. We're going to start off with the economic calendar. So this week we have FOMC and we have non farm payroll. So we have FOMC on Wednesday. It's going to be very, very important. Then we have um, unemployment claims on Thursday. Then we have non farm payroll on Friday. So Monday is going to be a little bit calm. Tuesday. We have high impact news on dollar index on Tuesday, unemployment cost index. So from Tuesday, Wednesday, things will start to move up. So we don't have any rates news this week. Only on the dollar as FOMC funds rates. That will be on Wednesday by 7 p.m. So with that out of the way, let's get down to what we have going into this new week. So as always, we're going to start off with the US 100 dollar index. Euro, Euro USD, GBP USD, gold, Euro pound, pound yen, and Euro yen. So I'm going to start off with the Euro, with the US 100. So looking at this pair, we can basically see from the weekly, this is like a break and retest on the weekly time frame. If we go to the daily, we're also looking at the same thing. This low that made this high was broken here. So the possibility is this, that this may still retrace higher. But where price is on the daily time frame, there is what you call, there's another block here. This other block was instrumental for breaking this low and this point. So price is at that point now. And if you go down to the four hour, it's going to become very clear. You're going to see it here. So price may retrace a bit to move higher into this point. If we go down to the one hour, so this is what we have on the one hour. We can see that price, this high here, may send price down into this point. Then price after that may continue to the upside. So that's what we have on the US 100. We might have a down move to continue higher into the new week to close up this fair value gap on the daily to close up this fair value gap on the daily so that fair value gap is between here and here so we might see a move to fill it up going into the new week the next we are going to be looking at is a dollar index looking at the dollar index this fair i still believe it will still move higher because if you look at it from the daily time frame you know from the weekly price bounce of the consequent encroachment of this weekly fair value gap. And you can see a long lower week. So if we go down to the daily, Friday closed as an engulfing. We go down to the four hour time frame. We already have sweep to the downside. So most possibly going into this new week, we might be looking at price coming for this previous week's high. But before that, we might see a move to the downside before a continuation to the upside. We have this four-hour imbalance, this one-hour imbalance here that price may try to retrace into before continuing to the upside. Can we all still hear me? Hello? Hello, can we all still hear me and see my screen? Yeah, we, I can hear you. Okay, so let's continue. So the next one we're going to be looking at is the Euro USD. Looking at the Euro USD, going into this new week, the possibility exists that we might see lower moves in price. If we look at what we have here, we already have a rejection from this weekly fair value gap with the long upper week. Although, if you look at it, price still closed above the previous week's high. 
So what that points to the fact that we might see a move higher into this week before a continuation to the downside. So if you notice, there was no close below this lows. There was only a sweep and then a pull back into the range. So the possibility is this, that we might see a move higher before a continuation to the downside on this pair. Because if you look at this formation here, note this area on the 25th. If you go to the dollar index, the dollar index high for the 25th it has closed above it. As you can see. But the Euro USD hasn't done it yet. So that points to the fact that we might see a move higher before a continuation to the downside on this pair. That's what we need to. We might see a move in here and then a move back to the downside on this pair. The next pair we're going to be looking at is GBP USD. Look at the GBP USD from the weekly and see that it has an kind of like engulfing on the weekly after a strong rejection from this other block. If we go to the daily time frame, you can see there's this other block that price. So price is like more like a break and retest, but its retest might be slightly deeper as long as it might come back for this month this weekly fair value gap at 2539 as long as price does not go above this area here this for our fair value gap price may continue to the downside so you might see something like this if it gets rejected, then you might see price move to the downside. So the next pair we're going to continue is gold. But before I move on to gold, I'd like to introduce our sponsors. Our sponsors today is Trading Pro Nigeria Limited. Prolific, proficient, and professional. Trading Pro has been around for seven years. They are an online broker. They offer very, very interesting products like their Scalpex accounts that it's swap free and some other accounts that have almost zero spread on it. They offer a very, very good trading community for those that are still starting off, those that are struggling, where you can be trained. If you are an advanced, you take advantage of our daily outlook for London and New York session, and also a community where we give out trade ideas. So we are starting off a beginner's training session next week. If you would like to find out how, you could reach out to me. I think it's a four-week beginner session class. So if you have anybody that is still new or wants to come into trading, you could reach out to me. To, and also they offer opportunities, lots of opportunities. You could get trained, weekly outlook. And I also give out daily trade reviews and trade ideas. So to find out how you can sign up, you just go to the table of contents video on this page, go down to this link. This link here, free trade ideas, daily review with this link. Once you click on this, it will take you to a landing page where you can sign up. And also for those who don't know, we have this on the page where you can easily access review for any particular pair you have in mind. So with that, we're going to move on to our next pair, which is gold. So looking at gold, if we look at gold from the weekly, for the first time in a long time, we have a bearish candle on the weekly. If you notice, since this up move started, this is the first time we're having an engulfing because this is could pass for an engulfing or what you call a bullish piercing, you know, a bearish piercing pattern because this candle closed more than halfway into the body of this candle. So if we go down into the daily time frame, we can find out that we swept some lows. It's clear on the four hour time frame. So this low that made this high price has broken below it. So we have a retracement. So going into this new week, we might see a move higher to move down on gold. That's what I might, that's what I'm seeing on gold. So we might see a move higher to probably fill in this fair value gap and move back down to the downside. So 
But if price closes below this key level of 2326, then we might see lower prices before it move higher. But I'll keep us updated. So the next one we're going to be looking at is EuroGBP. EuroGBP is at a critical area. Like I pointed out some weeks back, this volume imbalance, you can see price ran into it, this fair value gap and dropped. But where price is now on the daily is very important because this was the last down candle that was used to break this high, this high and this high. Although price is retracing deeply into it, but if we go down to the four hour time frame, what we would need to see if price goes below um, 85.51, then this up move might just be a false breakout. But if you watch this on the one hour, the sign that this might be turning to the upside will be something like this. Maybe price makes it high, comes back and continue like this. So this is what you'll be watching for at this level here. Although it's still bearish, but I cannot say it's bearish because of, it's fully bearish because of where price is. Yeah. It has to remove this other block before we can say that price will continue back to the downside within this range. The last but not sec last, move on. Next pair is pound yen. This pair is clearly bullish, like I've been saying. The next target on this pair is 198.93. So for this pair to be on the safe side, any down move into any retracement on this pair will be an opportunity to continue to the upside. So you'll be watching all these fair value gaps, any down move. Doesn't mean you can't take a shot, but you need to be careful that this move, if the shot is going to be a short term trade, that's like a scalp because the major bias on this pair is to the upside. Last but not the least is Euro Yen. The Euro Yen is still very much bullish and its next target is going most likely, we're going to be looking at it coming up to 173.90. That's most likely going to be its next target. So all things being equal for this pair, what you'll be waiting for is to buy dips on this pair. What you'll be waiting for is to buy dips on this pair. So any question? So has anybody with any question before we call it, before I end the review? Any question? Okay, so no. in, the, in the absence of any question, I wish everybody a beautiful weekend and a lovely trading week ahead. Good night. Wow, thank you.